Hey guys, um, thank you so much for being patient with me as I know it's taken me a while to finally film and upload the video for November updates. Um, yeah, I, even though I haven't been busy acting wise, I have been busy socially. Um, don't know if it's great that I always get myself in these busy situations, but I finally like had openings. So I was like, all the things I pushed back socially, I was like, yes, let's do this and let's do that. And, um, yeah, so November, as I had mentioned, hasn't been as busy, um, acting wise. I had seven auditions total for, which for me is very slow. There were some weeks where I literally didn't have an audition at all, but honestly, it was a huge blessing. Um, yeah, I think if you remember, go back and watch like October if you haven't, but I was saying how I was getting really discouraged and feeling sort of like burnt out because um because I had like been on a veil twice for a commercial and then got let go and then I got cut from the like the Coke Zero commercial that I was in and there's just a lot of things that got me feeling very down um but on November 3rd I went to this 24-hour prayer and worship night that was in Rancho Cucamonga that my friends were putting on and the Lord met me there, guys. It was very much needed. And basically, my friend came to me and he felt the heaviness on me. And he was asking, um, like, if he had done anything to offend me when I said no. He's like, okay, then I actually have a word for you. And um, he began to share, basically, what he felt like the Lord had put on like his heart for to share to me and that um the lord is calling me to give a sacrifice of praise basically that um in my time of like sadness and like disappointment and pain that god is actually giving me an opportunity to lift it up in praise um because there's a special kind of praise and worship when we are in that low place that no matter the circumstances we praise God, not like out of a fakeness or like forcing ourselves, but to praise God for who he is because he hasn't changed just because of our circumstances, that he is almighty, that he's all powerful, that he's a loving father, that he has good plans for us and that, you know, he is just almighty and worthy of praise. And so it's just saying, despite all this stuff around me and my disappointments, that God's still good. He's still who he says he is and he's still worthy of all my worship. And so, um, yeah, so my friend was just challenging me to do that. And he also said something really significant that I love sharing with people recently is that, you know, this kind of like worshiping through like the pain or despite the pain, um, is a very intimate kind of worship that we can only do on earth because in heaven it says there will be no pain. So it's a special kind of worship that we can choose to bring to God now. And it really, it cultivates a deeper kind of intimacy with the Lord when we do that. And so, um, yeah, there was a really great conversation that came from it where, um, yeah, I felt like I was like, yeah, I just, I was saying how it's like my pride, you know, that I, I always want to, you know, book these things and be impressive and, and like, uh, and then my friend said something very insightful that I never thought about before. And he was saying, he's like, yeah, Natasha, but I don't think your pride's like a, I want to be better than everyone else kind of thing. He said, I feel like you want to book all these things in your pride because you want to prove to people that you have value. And like that struck me really hard where I was like, oh, wow, that it really resonated with me that I guess I do try and do that. I try and do things to be impressive. So I guess to try and convince people that I'm like, I have value. But I think that's something that God wants to heal me of. And he had addressed in other areas, like whether it's like choosing my major and just even my path in life and other things. It's like, I'm trying to be impressive to show like my worth and my value. But my friend also mentioned, he's like, how silly is it that, you know, 
we do all these accomplish we want to do all these accomplishments and achievements and all these things and be impressive and then it's like we're almost bringing it like to the lord and being like look at all these th awesome things i've done look at this val value i've accumulated and like and none of that stacks up to what christ already did for us he died on the cross for our sins like and i'm trying to like add more value by being like oh i booked this commercial and i did this and i did that like no it, it's not gonna add anything to it and yet we put so much weight into the things we do and and i really you know i feel like nothing when i don't book things but um yeah my friend was like i really feel like you know you can't let that be how you define your value. And um, I feel like that conversation really helped me and I did feel like a weight lift off of me. And I feel like the timing was perfect too because that's when things started slowing down in November because November was so slow and yet I had peace. So I know that's from the Lord. Um, I had peace that and it wasn't affecting my value or sense of worth. And honestly, it was like rest that I needed because I had felt burnt out. And and so it was a time for me to rest and recover. And so all of November, even though it was slower, like I was fine and, and I feel good about it. And just trusting that God, you know, has a plan and he's closed certain doors for a reason that I don't understand, but out of his love. And so yeah i'm really really thankful that god you know address those things because i was sort of coming to the like understanding of it in my last video and i think cognitively i understood but in my heart and my soul i still felt down and so like going to that 24-hour prayer and worship night um the lord met me and i felt like he met me spiritually emotionally um and so i felt like that weight was lifted or those chains were broken and it was so good you know and i felt seen by the lord and loved by him and so i pray that continues forward as i'm like going on and um so yeah i feel like the month was mainly um i because i had more time i was able to clean my house and i should i'll show you next time i swear like because I had people over. I've been hosting a lot more because um, my I got my place in order, or at least my living room area. And uh, so that has been really awesome. And um, and so I've, I feel like good about like my house finally coming to order like six months later. And um, yeah, I got things to better my house during Black Friday sale. So I got this fan for my bathroom, like, cause all I have is like a window so it couldn't ventilate well. So now I have this fan that just blows the air out. And then I also got this um, reading light. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really good that it hooks to the, the headboard. And then I can just um, read cause this corner is not well lit. Um, so I love that, love that. And um, so I'm just really happy that things are coming together. I just need to work on um, my bedroom area is uh, like, I have one more box to unpack and a couple bags. Uh, and so I'm almost done. And um, yeah, I can't wait to show you all of it. Although my room will probably never be fully uh, tidy, but we'll see, maybe, maybe. Um, yeah, so it's been good, you know, socializing a lot, it's been prioritizing time with family during Thanksgiving is really good, I think, because usually I keep myself busy and going from place to place, meeting up with people, but I just kept it low key and chill. And I think again, it was like restful for uh, when I came back. And so yeah, November was more chill, but I think a very much needed rest and a very much needed um like the Lord ministering to my heart. But um, yeah, how have the holidays been for you guys? How can I be praying for you? Um, and what are you guys excited about for the new year? I mean, I should put that with December, but I'll be posting it after the new year. So yeah. So okay, I'll hear from you guys later. Bye.